We've all seen the big YouTubers with their thousands of VPN ads all the time. What we're going to find out today is, on your Mac, what is a VPN good for and what is a VPN maybe not so good at? <laughs> Let's break it down. All right, so what I'm going to do in this video is if you have a VPN, you've seen those VPN ads, I'm sure you have, there's thousands of them. I'll actually, you know, you know the YouTubers, I'll flash them up here, but you know who they are. Um, anyways, those VPN ads you see all the time, they're basically going to be for certain reasons you'd want to use them on your Mac, and we're going to break that down today. We're going to figure out maybe why you'd want to use them, and maybe what, why you wouldn't use them, or what they're not good for. So stay with me through the whole video. I'm just going to go through it fairly quickly, and we're going to go through, you know, maybe three or four things that they're good at, three or four things maybe that you think they're good at, but they're really not. And then we'll just finish the video out. So let's get into it. I don't want to waste anyone's time here. You're probably sick of those ads like I am, but unfortunately I don't think they're going away anytime soon. There's too much money in it. But let's figure out if they're worth your while. All right, let's start with the positives. So let's just assume that you want to get a VPN. What are they good for? Number one, let's just assume that you're at a hotel or something and you actually want to connect to the internet on an open public network. What are VPNs good at is it basically encrypts your data from point A, your computer, basically to where you're going. And, and sometimes those hotels, you know, people can sit there maybe in a, a car or something and sniff out your data in that connection. So VPNs are good at basically protecting your data, 256 encrypt, 256 bit encryption from point A to point B. And that's one of the reasons people use it, obviously. Now keep in mind that if you go to websites nowadays, you'll see that there's like an HTTPS on all the websites. And that's actually, that's about 80% of the websites out there actively right now, especially when you buy stuff. Keep in mind that when you actually have websites like that, that's already encrypting your data when you put in your personal data through a security certificate. But again, if you're on open networks at hotels, one good reason to use a VPN would be really, you know, obviously to protect your data and not have someone hack into it while you're actually connecting on that open network. So you connect through this VPN first and it's good, good use of it. All right, number two, spoofing your location. This is what the, probably the primary use is for this. So let's assume that you have a subscription to, let's say, Netflix, and you're in, you know, let's say you're in Europe, I'm in America, you're in Europe, and you wanna be able to connect to it. You can't because you're, you know, your location's not in the right location, you're not in the United States. You can actually connect through usually a couple hundred different countries through the VPN. Your data will actually go into the VPN server, which resides somewhere out there, you know, it could be a different country. But if you're in Europe, you could have it reside in the United States, and then it looks like your IP IP address is coming from the United States and that'll let you actually connect to your Netflix subscription thinking that you're from the United States. That's basically one of the main reasons people use this is spoofing your location. Sometimes people use it in countries like China and stuff where they can't actually get to the internet freely and they want to be able to kind of spoof their location also. But for the most part, most people are using it for this kind of stuff, Disney subscriptions and stuff like that to online content. All right, number three is one that I want to show you guys because a lot of people don't know about this. Do you realize, like, if you, let's say you're in Switzerland, which is a really high, high-priced country, and you start looking for a, a flight. Let's say you're traveling to Europe and you want to find a flight to somewhere else in Europe. If you actually connect and your VPN or your, your IP address is coming from the Switzerland location, if you go to sites, some travel sites out there, I won't name them, but if you go to some travel sites, sometimes they'll charge you different pricing on tickets. A lot of times they will, depending on your country of origin. So, for instance, if you're in a country that's usually got a lot more money, they're gonna charge you more. I don't know how this is legal, but we've done a lot of tests. There's been a ton of tests online, and it's true. You can get different costs to plane tickets depending on what country you're connecting from. Usually lower cost countries sometimes will get a lower price. So you can trick them sometimes by using a VPN and connecting from a country that may not be the country that you're actually in to buy your tickets. And uh, let me go ahead and put up some stuff here, but just to show you some of the cost savings I saw online. But it's been a couple hundred bucks in some cases. A lot of times it's not that much, but it, definitely try it out. It's worth a try. And that's maybe a third reason you might, you might want to use a VPN. All right, number four is really hiding. You know, a lot of people want to hide their activity. And there's some good and bad reasons for this. Um, your ISP, let's say, let's say you're through Comcast or someone, they can basically, you know, track every site that you've ever visited. I don't recommend doing illegal stuff out there. Obviously, hackers and stuff should not be out there. But, I mean, do you really want them to have that data? So a lot of people connect through a VPN, and that VPN basically, you know, it's going to stop that from happening where they'll maybe not be able to track everything that you're actually doing. You, um, you know, they don't have that data because you're connecting first to the VPN and then the VPN out to the outside world. Now, keep in mind, 
that there's, you know, you have to figure out who you want to trust. And we'll get into that later. I mean, you always have to trust somebody and it's either going to be the Comcast out there with your data, or it's going to be someone like this VPN company that you may not know anything about, depending on who you choose. So you always have to pick the evil, you know, the best e of, of both evils, I guess is what I'm saying. And it's not always a, a fail safe. Plus, obviously, a lot of companies or a lot of governments know that things go through these VPNs, so you never know, especially bad actors, you never know exactly who's kind of looking at those or trying to break in constantly. So you have to be kind of diligent on that as well, but it's just something that's one of the reasons people do it is kind of cover their tracks. And if they don't want Big Brother watching them, it's another reason, but again, you never know if it's actually working. All right, so what will a VPN not do that people think it might actually do? Number one is it's not gonna really stop viruses or malware. It's basically gonna encrypt your connection to that line, but it's not gonna, you know, once it's encrypted, it's still gonna move data. So if you connect to something that actually has a virus or malware, it's not gonna usually be able to stop that because it's just basically encrypting it. So you have encrypted data until it gets to your location, and then it'll go ahead and unleash the malware. Now keep in mind that there's some services out there that do include added security services, and I'm not talking about those, but just a VPN in general, you know, it's not gonna help you with virus protection or malware from that sense. All right, number two, that thing about tracking your IP and covering up your DNS information, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. You know, uh, there's been a couple of big companies out there that have been hacked as far as VPN companies. You can do your own research, just search hacked VPN companies in Google. You'll see who they are. And the problem with that is, you know, they say a lot of these companies out there are these companies that are residing in other countries, maybe Russia or something. And they're also saying that they're not keeping any of this data. You know, they're not tracking any of it. That's why you should use them because they, you know, your, your ISP can't find the data and they're not, they're not keeping it anywhere. So you're safe, right? Well, you gotta trust somebody and you gotta determine who you're, you know, who do you trust? There's audits that go on with these companies supposedly, but who's doing the audit? So do your, do your research because obviously, you're kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of the weakest link that's gonna you know, be your downfall. So a lot of these companies may be tracking data if they're small or they may not know what they're doing security wise or they might have a lot of hackers going after them because they know people are on there doing stuff they shouldn't be or governments are watching them. So if you plan on using this to cover your tracks, you know, I would say stick to always legal stuff obviously and also at the very end of the day, keep in mind that it's not, nothing's fail proof. If you wanna keep maybe your ISP away or something just because it's just, you know, the way you are and what have you, that's fine but just keep in mind that this is not always going to be a fail safe for that. And then finally, you know, if you're basically thinking, let's just, I, I actually just got a letter in the mail, um, one of my medical providers, data breach. So this is not going to help you with that kind of stuff. Once you actually connect through a VPN and you connect to like a healthcare site or you connect, let's say, to, you know, buy something online, as soon as you put your data in, that data floats over to their servers, all right? So the VPN protected you with your information maybe from point A to point B, but once it goes into that third-party server for any service that you have, anything you're doing, the VPN doesn't help you at all. I mean, obviously, they have to have their own protection and security. If that stuff gets breached, all your information is breached. So while it offers a slight level of protection, you know, with open networks at hotels, and maybe if you want to spoof your location for video stuff and Netflix and everything else, keep in mind, though, that once you unleash your data somewhere on any website that's out there, the VPN is not going to do anything for you, obviously. Then it's on their servers. Then it's up to their security. Then they can do whatever they want with third parties with the data, and you're not protected in any way. So this is not kind of a fail-safe for security either. It basically helps you connect to servers. Let's say, let's say you have a, you want a direct connection pipe with you know encrypted so that you can connect from one server to the other, so you can't get in, you know information kind of compromised in between there. It's good for that kind of stuff, but any, any other type of security, it's not really going to be a fail safe for you. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to wrap this up because it's getting a little bit long. So I hope this does help out a little bit as far as why you'd maybe want something for your Mac as far as a VPN. There's a lot of good VPN software out there. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, there's also some that are kind of suspect as well. Maybe we'll cover that later. But I always say, you know, you, you, the, the security is always up to you. You can do your own level of security. Just there's things like phishing and opening emails and stuff that are probably a lot more important. Um, but if you're connecting to a open VPN, let's say, or open, open network, I'm sorry, at a hotel or something, always suspect that there could be someone watching that data when you connect or somehow intercept that, that connection. So that's maybe one of the main reasons I would use it when traveling and stuff. And maybe if I want to watch, you know, my Netflix when I'm in Europe. So beyond that, I just wanted to wrap up the video. I hope this helps everybody out. Subscribe if you can. I know these are not the most exciting ones because it's a VPN. What can you do about it? But, but at the end of the day, I hope it helps people. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.